Good evening, travelers. Welcome to Traveling with the Graham Cracker. I am the Graham Cracker, and this is Quark. This is my traveling buddy, and uh, he's a video ham and loves to be in the videos when I'm doing videos. Am I correct? Am I correct? I am, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> you silly dog. You are a silly dog. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you showing off? All right, can I put you down? You're going to sit there? Hey. Are you going to sit there? You're going to say hello? Where are you going? That's my computer. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Anyway, um, you are traveling with the graham cracker, and I am the graham cracker. And... Uh, Today's video is a um, collection of my travels from Idaho Falls. I finished up in Idaho Falls. Last video you saw, um, we were in Idaho Falls with my daughter, Jacinda, and dealing with some medical issues for her. Those have been taken care of. I finally got her moved. I got her house emptied out and she's in a good location and has a nice place to live now and um, everything is set and secure and I can move on from there so I've taken a couple weeks because of uh, a lot of stress and I needed to decompress I had to, a lot of dealings with um, state agencies and um, a lot of different medical issues and agencies to deal with and Jacinda was in the hospital I think about four or five times while I was in Idaho um, trying to get her blood glucose normalized she's a diabetic and she has um, COVID long haulers which is giving her a lot of problems with her lungs and uh, so lots of issues medically that I've had to deal with since I got down here in June. Um, it's now se September, um, late September, but this this video I'm gonna play for you this evening is my trip from Idaho and partially uh, coming into uh, Fargo, North Dakota, where I am currently. Um, and that will take care of in the next video. Uh, so this is my trip from Idaho through Wyoming and a little bit of Montana. So hopefully you enjoy this video and I'll catch up with you at the end. All right, we'll talk to you in a minute. This is a, I believe, dispersed camping. I'm not positive. We'll have to check. I believe so. I think so. It looks like it. Looks like dispersed camping. There's a couple of vault toilets. This is Forest Service ground. We'll have to find a spot. Five days. Oh, the Palisades Lake. This is where I camped last night, down here by the water. Um, you can see behind me in the mirror, there's a lake back there. This is where I camped by Palisades Lake in Idaho. We're heading to Wyoming today, heading east, going all the way to Fargo. Uh, Fargo, North Dakota is our final destination on this leg of our trip. I hope and I pray that all goes well. Um, I, as I've said before, I do not like traveling without an emergency fund. I'm praying and hoping I get the job at the beet harvest. We'll let you know. I've applied. I don't know if I can physically handle it. I'm going to try um, either there or somewhere in Fargo or Moorhead to get a job for a few few weeks while I'm visiting my daughter and then I gotta travel on. 
So there's the temperatures. Last night got downright cold here. They were in the low 60s by evening and then by the midnight it was in the 50s and that was pretty cold. I had to close the windows. The first time since I left the property, I've had to close the windows at night. It was cold. See there's water on the ground. It has rained. This water drops on my mirror, on my windshield and uh, it has rained. I'm going to look and see if there's a trash can up here. I need to throw away a couple items of trash. I don't see one. I see a couple pit toilets, but it's probably pack it in, pack it out, which is normal. I have trash to deposit in a dumpster. Um, yep, pit toilets here. It's a five-day stay. It's a free uh, camp spot for five days. There was no dumpster here, so we will not be stopping here. Our next stop is the Maverick gas station. In uh, before we get into Jackson, because Jackson is in 600 feet, turn right onto US 26 East. Yep, we're heading on US 26 East towards Jackson, Wyoming, and that will be pretty much our next stop. All right, I'm not going to drive while I'm holding this. You get a good idea of where we're at and what it looks like. It's absolutely stunning and beautiful. And Take the next right onto US 26 East. It's just beautiful. There is a little sun trying to peak. Right now I'm having to run my generator and I'm not happy about that, but woke up at 12 9 this morning on the batteries situation because of the cloudy days yesterday. So today we're gonna run the generator at least till we go to the gas station. All right, I will come back in later. I am officially in Grand Teton National Park. And today the Tetons are completely covered in clouds. There's a plane that has just taken off. The airport, local airport, wherever that may be. Anyway, these are the Grand Tetons. However, like I said, they're covered in clouds today. And on this side of the road, over there, over right in there, is the National Elk Refuge. And I see no elk out there today. So, That's it for the Grand Tetons this morning. It's probably snowing or raining pretty heavy up there. It does snow at this time of year. There can be snowfall. Temperatures can get really low. Over there, Cork, stay in the car. If you look down that mountain, those are the ski runs. And in the winter time, they are just completely covered with skiers. Yeah, it can snow in August and in September it can up in those Tetons. And it got real cold last night where I was at Alpine and I'm sure it's pretty cold up there. Alright. Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Well, I decided not to take the freeway through northern Montana going into North Dakota and decided to take the bicycle route. This has been very interesting. It follows along the freeway really close. There's some cool things. Quark is watching for cows. I'm just enjoying the ride out here. What's the point of traveling if you're always taking the interstate and never seeing anything outside of the interstate? To the right over there, there's a river. I think it's the Yellowstone River. Not sure, but I'm pretty sure. But here we are in the back with some road far less traveled. Um, probably 
would have been the highway in the day to go through. Ooh, that rock looks like it's about ready to come off the mountain there. Let me get by that one in a hurry. One quick earthquake and that one's hitting the ground. Look at here what you see when you get off the interstate. I mean, yeah, it takes you a little farther, but what the heck? We're traveling. Quark, settle down. All right, let's climb this road. Ah, 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 ah. Oh. Five miles and then it hooks right back up to the interstate. So okay. Interesting little road. It's not terribly bad so far. There you have it, Montana. Look at that. Just open nothing. And if you're on the freeway, it's worse than open nothing. It's just cars and open nothing. All right, I'm going to let you go drive this crazy road and get back over by the interstate. Well, today is uh, Labor Day weekend. It is Monday, Labor Day, and I am in Montana, camped at Matthews Recreational Area out on the Yellowstone River. It's not as late as it looks. It's only around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. All this gray is smoke, I think, from the Canadian fires blowing this way. I don't know. It's been pretty smoky almost all day. So, the drive's been kind of interesting. Did a lot of uh, directions using the bicycle part of the app for uh, maps instead of using the highway so it took me quite a while longer to get to where I needed to get but it was a much better drive and a little more scenic my van is still pushing to one side not as bad as it was before I got tires it was pushing really bad the other day and then I got new tires I got new tires on the rear which started the pushing part and then uh, the other day I got the two front ones so I switched out the ones that were on the rear to they're now on the front and the ones that are on the rear are brand new. And they only have like a couple hundred miles difference on them. But they're driving good. I just don't understand why the van is pushing one side or not the other. I know it needs an alignment, but they won't do an alignment unless I replace my uh, ball joints. And I already replaced ball joints on one side. But they're still saying that they're bad, and I know they're not. They're new. So, uh, you know, got to go somewhere where they'll do an alignment without trying to tell me that my ball joints are bad because I was there when they replaced them. Had them replaced in quartzite by Tim up there at Diddleworks, and I know doggone well he does a good job. So, the other side was not replaced because it has... A whole different size on that side which it shouldn't but it does and that's what it came with when I bought it but uh, he said they were fairly good they're not that bad yeah things are loose up front because the vehicles old it's a 1997 that makes things a little loose so it's a little difficult to steer it at this point and I've never had that problem before may I ask what you want would you like to say hello to say hello. Did you tell everybody that you saw cows? Did you see cows today? You did. Where are you going? Oh. Where are you going? You're going to climb up? All right. Hold on. Hold on. Let me help you. Those nails are just not good. All right. Are you happy now? Are you going to tell everybody you saw cows? There's no cows here. No cows. Did you see some? You did. Did you see horses? You saw them too. Yep. 
He gets very interested when he sees them. Anyway, let me turn you around. Let me turn you around so you can see where I'm parked. It's kind of in a little cove here, but there you are. Straight ahead there, out that way, is the Yellowstone River. There's a little creek over that way going down to the river, and then we're parked here. We got our cherry tomatoes, which have been coming with us since the property. And I've eaten most of them. But as you can see, there's a bunch more on there. There's even a red one. We'll see if we get to eat them. We'll see if we get to eat them. Before too long. So, okay, we're parked into this little cove here. We're on cement, so it's nice and level. Well, this is pretty nice. Yes. If it wasn't smoky, it'd be great. But it is smoky. Anyway. Are you quite happy? Quark, are you happy? Hey. Are you cold? Very cold. Hmm? Are you cold? All right. Okay. Well, how about two? Are you telling everybody you're watching? Are you you're acting? Okay. All right. Can you quit barking now? Stop. I. What I say? No more. No more. No more. Okay. That was his hi, hello. Anyway, we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day on this little magical trip. We're going to be in Fargo, I think, sometime tomorrow. It's a good uh, 300 miles, so yeah, I think we'll be in Fargo. We'll catch up with you tomorrow. Well, thanks for coming along with us. I hope you enjoyed this video, this journey through... A little bit of Idaho, Wyoming, and Montana. Come again next week when we finish up our journey eastward, I almost said west, to North Dakota to visit my youngest daughter, Janelle. Anyway, I would like to um, thank each and every one of you for your support, for your continued viewing and subscribership. And I'd appreciate it if you give us a thumbs up and come back again and watch us again. Follow your heart, embrace your dreams, and cherish your life, and get out there and do something that you enjoy. All right, we will talk to you next week. Okay, until then, bye-bye.